Hello and welcome to another episode of We Don't Know. We might we might call it um, Against All Odds, but we honestly don't know the difficulty of Revolutionary France that we're playing here in EU4, believe it or not. Vive la Révolution. Yes, um, I mean, we do have a hell of a lot of armies and, yeah. you know, we are essentially... Uh, we have Napoleon on our side, so that should count for something. True, but we do have a lot of enemies. We have Austria, Baden, Hannover, Hesse, Mainz, Prussia, Sardinia, Piemont, Trier, and Württemberg, and that's just starting out. So <laughs> it could be more. Who knows? I don't could know. And, I mean, it could be incredibly difficult. It might be just, you know, roll over your keyboard and destroy everything easy. So we simply yeah. do not know. But we, I haven't played this game in ages, so... I'm a novice. I will <laughs> admit to being a novice. Oh, well, I can't really say I'm a novice. Reduced. I've played like, what is it, 300 hours of this game, but I haven't played uh, it in yeah. like, I don't know how many years. We expect you to be pretty good. Uh, so there are a few interesting things here. Uh, I guess, like, if you go to government, we are revolution target, which is, seems interesting. I just noticed this. While the revolution is happening, the country will this country will get 50% more score. So we get a, a hell of a lot, like, land force, limit modifier, manpower, monthly war exhaustion. The only thing is, yearly papal influence, minus 100. I can live with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Oh, that's um, true. And, but and we got everything pretty good. So I suppose it yeah. won't be against all odds. It will be this against all odds for the enemy, maybe. Uh, but <laughs> against all odds that we lose. It's interesting also because, uh, I mean, th I have to say, this is one of the things that I absolutely love about EU4. The fact that you can start like at any day or any date or whatever. It's just fantastic. Uh, funnily enough, though, I think we started... No, hang on. September 1792. I thought we started... Wasn't it in April the war started? Or yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I, I was trying to look up the, the optimal date, but then I noticed there was a bookmark for 21st of September 1792, so... I ah, okay. Why not just for it? a reason, yeah. yeah uh, because reason. apparently there has been a battle already in Valmy, uh, where we apparently beat some Prussians. Yeah. Uh, which is interesting. Where is Valmy, anyway? Uh, I don't really I, know. I, I don't let's, even know. Let's we'll consult see. the... Val... Wait, I can't oh. type... I couldn't type either, what happened? Uh, I don't find mm. it. No, me neither. Wait, was, did I type it right now? Valmy. I did. Well, anyway, it doesn't huh. exist. <laughs> it does not exist. Or it could be one of those cases where it, it had a different name, but then we took it and dynamic name changes. Changes, okay. maybe? Oh, well, that, yeah, that kind of sucks. Well, but, if well, anyone could, is an expert be. in French geography, please send an email to... <laughs> no, well, just comment on YouTube, for God's sake. No, 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 write a letter, handwritten yes. letter, Yes. send it to our P.O. box that we do not oh, have. I'd love to have a P.O. box, but... We should get a P.O. box. We should, and yes. have no one So let, let's stop this, immediately go and get a P.O. box. <laughs> yeah. No, we uh, have army organization to do. Yeah, I mean, this is insane. Look at the army in Paris, the composition. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't it, even know what the good composition is in this game anymore. It hurts like, the nerd. It, Armée du Nord seems to be pretty good. So oh, I think do we have that? Um, oh, Amir du Nord, fantastic. Louis Nicolas Davout, or yeah. maybe Louis we, we Gabriel can, Suchet. We can't complain about <laughs> having uh, bad generals, at least. No, but I, did you say we have Napoleon? Because I don't see. Uh, him. I don't see Napoleon either. Uh, so which you is, were probably lying. Well, I'd assume Napoleon would be a, like part of this somehow, but he, he's not even. Um, I mean, the Grand Great Consul is Xavier de Bonneville. And yes, the pronunciations. We already, in every video, we say how terrible we are. And actually, so far, no one has commented on how, how poor we are. So uh, I guess it's doing its job. Yeah, plus, you know, every other YouTuber ever in existence. Yeah, about hey, the we, we're pretty standard. So. Uh, yes, ooh, we, we do actually have a, um, what's that called? Not Conquistor, or Explorer, who is fantastic. But uh, should yeah, we perhaps... But one, here's one thing that I immediately dislike about this game. Again, like I always annoy myself with this. We uh -huh. already have too many leaders. And we have three leaders. <laughs> we have three leaders and it's too many. It's like the game's like, no, we can't have this many leaders. How many leaders did Revolutionary France have? How uh, many famous generals weren't there under the, you know, wars of the Napoleon or whatever? Yeah, you I mean... We only have like two generals. Yeah, then, it, know, it's almost it impossible to gain like more than that, you know, like... Um... You know, I, I I think I've at max had like four generals, and that's when I've like conquered all of Europe. That's ridiculous. 
But anyway, we have our three star generals out now. Uh, yeah, we I, I we should also yeah. mention that we're playing the same country, by the way. Maybe, maybe we didn't do that, but we're doing it just because we're lazy almost. No, but it's it's hard to, in multiplayer, pick a uh, decent counterpart ally kind of thing, unless there's some specific thing, I don't know. Um, it's just easier this way. It is. Um, we have a reform. This, this is nothing to do with the revolution, but apparently the people in Bian, whatever it is yeah. called, yeah, I saw that. Reformed, so I think we're going to pur purge this heresy. Saying Strangely Republic, enough, which was not... kind of the birthplace of atheism and, uh, and <laughs> no, no, secularism. Secularism. Yeah. Strangely enough, not even that. It doesn't even take that long to convert them. Apparently, so I've just we've just been generous about it before. Yeah. Uh, established like revolutionary France in the Spice Islands. Actually, what kind of colonial holdings do we have? That's interesting. Yes. What do we have? We uh, do have uh, oh. Cayenne. So and I was going to say Pondicherry, but it's not called Pond. Well, it's called Coromandel, apparently. Uh, don't. Yeah, we have Haiti, but it's uh, covered in rebels, so that's not very good. We do have things like uh, anything Guadalupe, in Africa? Martinique, Saint Louis. Ah, Cayenne. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, Cayenne pepper. Mm. Mm, cayenne pepper that I don't like because it's too spicy, and I hate spices. No, it's good. Guadeloupe, yes. Yeah, we do have Pondicherry. Saint Lucia, or Saint Pondicelli. Lucia, I should say. Uh, do we have anything else? We haven't. Uh, what about I America? Think, no. Uh, I think we lost pretty much all in America. We do we have? Uh, no, it's not. It's not modeled. Saint Pierre Michelin is not in the game. Oh, this okay. is heresy. This game needs to be purged from existence. We are. We do, we are allied with the United States of America. I was just right? going to say that. Yeah. We are allied with the United States of America. Which, it, have we ever been that in a game before? No. We're always no. against America. Oh, by the way, now I have an idea for next time. We're going to play as United States. Ah, in when this it, time when period? Starts. In ah. the start. Okay, well, it depends. Oh, okay, when that starts. Okay, so kind yeah, of the... Yeah, the, uh, the War of Freedom or whatever they call it. Oh, we do have some uh, things like Mahe, and we do have um, Mauri Mauritius and Il Bourbon. Diego Garcia. We actually have some quite some islands in the Indian Ocean. Okay. So uh, that's pretty cool. We could send a team to Cocos Islands to... A team? Yeah, a team of explorers and uh, otherwise pioneers. Should, should we do this? Uh, this so sure. Useful? I mean, you're better at that than me. I, uh, I have no I fucking clue what I'm doing, so why not? Just send them away. Uh, where else? Maybe we, could, maybe we could send, you know, the reform people from Béon to that place. So we get rid of them from, from Spain, I was going to say, but France. I wonder, hmm, could we take actually Sardinia Piedmont like a piece here? That would be interesting. We probably could, but now uh, the world is oh, forming oh, treaties against oh, us. Sardinia Piedmont I mean, is actually suggesting a piece of an Oh yeah, I see that. Hang on, with what? Forced uh, to give Revolution of France 10% of the income. And I'll treat I, this. I, I find this, I find this uh, unacceptable. Uh, I was actually sketching out a piece now where they give us Savoy. Um, well, we need Savoy, that is definitely true. Savoy... The thing is, you know, these areas are French. I mean, Nice, come on. Well, nowadays they are French. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'm I just saying. I don't know about this time period, but uh, at least Nice and Savoy is Yeah, Nice, French Savoy and... and uh, I think the rest is, is uh, yeah. Italian at this point. Yeah, P Piedmont... Hang on, Piedmont, what, what is I think that? Cuneo oh, yeah. is probably Italian at this point. I mean, if you take just Nice and Savoy, it looks kind of... It looks fairly decent, gotta say. Uh, Nothing much to complain about. Yeah, although I, I also was thinking about maybe taking Cuneo and they were, um, they would seem up for that. Yeah, but the question is, uh, ah, will, will that affect our stuff. conscious? <laughs> maybe not our conscious, but will it affect international relations to such a point where the first war of the first. War of the Second Coalition starts before this first is even. I see your finished. point. Well, maybe we should just take Savoy and Nice then. And yes. sort of call it a day. Maybe I could uh, get some treaties here, war reparations perhaps, and also yeah, try to get, get us money. We need money for the revolution. Yeah, we do actually. Uh, annul treaties with Austria, and also cash, please. Yeah, that gives us fifty-four percent war score. I think we're cash. that's pretty, you know, nice of us. Cash, we could also please. release Sardinia. No, we could not. Sorry. <laughs> We could uh, really no, we could not. Don't do don't release Sardinia. I will, I will let the time pass a okay. bit more. Okay. Am I the? Am I allowed to make peace now? You Thank are you. allowed to always make peace. <laughs> uh, 
And actually, this is good because I mean, the funny thing is, their army in Nice is vastly superior to our in. Uh, our, ours well, in. I'm a nearby, but I'm sending down the Armée Royale to Ooh. kind of help out on there, and Armée we have Armée de l'Est, de l'Est, de l'Est. Isn't that the queen in Babar? <laughs> Oh, no. Babar! I haven't. Isn't that French? No, I think so. Yeah. It's, uh... Or maybe maybe it's uh, like all French things, Belgium. Ah, you, I see your point. Like kind of like Tintin. And French fries. Uh, actually, you're right. I see a pattern. Yeah, I see. I uh, see. You see a pattern. I mean, everything French is actually d- Belgium. Does France even exist? I. Uh... I don't think so. Oh. My we're... great consul Huron has entered a federation led by Shawnee. You know, this is the kind of message that I don't think revolutionary French leaders really give a sh- gave a shit about. What about but sure, Harold from Huron, and we will we will consider this. What about doing war taxes? Do you, what do you think? I mean, we're suffering money-wise well, quite a bit. No, we'll, we we just initial losses. We can always cut back on expenses, you know. All right, all right. We'll see. Uh, we do have a... L- no, I, I thought it was 132% of extension, but it's only 13.2%. So, well, hang on. Now, now the border actually looks pretty nice. I'm surprised. Yes. And what but happened? We do, Genoa. Should we take a next Genoa? Because that that is a mission we could take. Oh, absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, Let's do oh, it. well, we can continue the time. What, did they get more stuff from that? Yeah, they did. They got Albenga. Counter reformation will be removed from revolution in France. Okay. Interesting. Wait. Wait. Oh, counter revolution. That's something to do with. Uh, no, c- counter reformation. Oh, reformation. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got you got hold of. Uh, of Armée du Nord. Maybe yeah. You should go for for Belgium. Speaking of Belgium, maybe you should take the fourth in Namur. Uh, which I'm pretty sure isn't Namur a superhero. Namur. Submarine. No, wait. That's someone else. I'm thinking of someone else. So, okay. Something the submariner. <laughs> okay, but where where are we? Uh, Namur. Where are we? Well, you're pro- I'm talking about Belgium, so oh, basically but... it's straight north of okay. Armée du Nord. Okay, but we also have a worrying Prussian army walking around. <gasps> yes, and oh! now suddenly all, all hell broke loose when oh, I s- dared to enter me. enemy territory. Goodness me, false. Yes, oh. send, send aid. Shall I send Armée du Nord? Yes, send Armée du Nord and <laughs> also a couple of other Nords. And also, man, we're slaughtering them. Well, it's currently, but they have 77,000 men Ooh. coming to their aid. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's, that's just the Austrians, by the way. That's simply only... Oh, wait, now it's going to be bad. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Fantastic. Okay, maybe maybe you should stay nearby. Okay, uh, okay. Don't okay. engage at the moment. Mets. Just kind of wait and see if the weather Meet becomes the good. Mets. I mean, they have 150,000 men now. I must intervene. Yes, but intervene when when they have arrived, so they okay, don't you okay. know, bail out on us. We can, we can handle this. Yeah, I believe in enough, us. We can. Oh, oh, okay, oh, okay, okay now. Send, send men, send Look men. at that strength. That like is a lot. Scaling. Okay, so this is maybe against all odds. In oh, okay, 180,000 men. Uh, okay, so we want more people. I want more people. Can I, I mean, th- this? this is one of the biggest battles I've had in Europa Universalis, and we're just like 10 minutes in. <laughs> okay, so maybe this whole thing about war taxes was well, not a bad idea. So let's raise some war taxes. Here we go. Raise some hell. Raise some hell. And well, I will, you know, I will impulsively recruit some impulsive. The funny thing is also that their general is fantastic as well. He's definitely on the same level as ours. And, yeah, and I think we need some more assistance beyond yeah, that. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I'm, I'm gathering more troops, but I don't think they will get there in time. I think we're in for a big loss that Napoleon would never have appreciated. But I don't know, I don't know why we oh, who are those? Anymore. Hanover. Oh, so we have to deal with those bastards as well. Uh, uh, you know King what? George. I think maybe we need some. Wait, those cost a lot in money. Uh, fort defense, maybe. Okay, so that would be pretty good. I got a leader for us, or you know, okay, a for we us. seem to be losing the battle. <laughs> Imagine if we lost the entire army now. That would be bad. But if we, uh, you know, retreat. I think we should retreat. There we go. Yeah. So uh, that would be that was bad, bad battle. Bad luck. Yeah. So, but at least now they have to punch through our forts and shit. So we should sure, stay on sure. the defensive, see what happens, and react according to, you know. Are there any French alive in the country, France? There's we actually have, a fair amount of French yeah, alive. Yeah, fifty-seven thousand. How many did we lo- lose that battle? Did you manage uh, to see? Well, I don't know, but I think we lost fifty thousand. <laughs> 
Uh, we could see there in... We need to replace uh, 49,000 men, so that was pretty close. I, I like that uh, we're getting called Great Console, that's a bit rare in these uh, It is, and locations. it's wonderful. So now I have a fairly decent army in Armée Royale. But what happened to Amir du Nord? Amir du Nord is in Paris. Ah, okay, okay, it did survive. It did survive. Uh, okay, I will Holy combine the other two crap. armies. Also, that unit looks badass. I don't know if you have the model or a pack. But a horse that's standing in fallops. Uh, you know, he's not to mess around with. To me, it's a very regular horse with a very regular man. <laughs> so... I guess I don't have. Uh, maybe, unit. maybe mine is just regular, but he looks badass anyway. So I appreciate him for his badassness. Now, 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 now they're switching around. So 142,000 men is just walking away, and still the imposing 58,000 men That's from it. Russia is yeah. just walking. He's like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to stand here. You know, know about that? I think Amir Royal will have to be. Should we recruit another? Oh, make a general order your ruler. No way. He has two no, military skill. Yeah. It, I mean, Xavier de Bonneuil is not very good. Yeah. Also, have you have you noticed that, like, the word revolution is feminine? Because I never did that. I don't really think of feminine qualities when I hear revolution. Revolution sounds a bit aggressive. Yeah, but it's uh, it's romantic. You're appreciating it like a watch or something, or is uh, I guess watch isn't really feminine, but well, I don't. Uh, but is it? But you usually no. refer. To I know. I don't, I don't think. What okay, is... we're out on. I think you took a linguistic leap here that I don't think we were able to take. I mean, yeah, I, I might have done that. We're not experts. I might have, we, we're not experts of anything. But uh, yeah, we need more troops. Can we get some more troops, please? But what happens when we only get 690 manpower each month? That is what? nothing. That is nothing, yeah. Uh, so we need to starve those men out. Like the. The French and... No, not the French, just us. But the Austrians and the Prussians gonna need to be starved out. What kind of... Uh, I mean, Jesus, the amount of people. Uh, 223,000 was in that Battle of Fals. I wonder, yeah. I wonder... Is there any people we could make peace with? I mean, Prussia would be brilliant to get a peace with. It would I be, but I think uh, Louis-Gabriel Suchet will be... Basically transferred over to Army Royale instead. So Louis Nicolas Davout will take care of pretty much the rest of the army that yeah. is standing in Paris at the moment. But we kind of need to separate them for now since they are losing men from. Yeah, I agree. From, I agree. Um, uh, from so you're mainly you know, recruiting infantry, right? Well, that's what we were lacking the most when I was trying yeah. to to uh, make Army Royale good <laughs> enough to. <battle. laughs> this is pretty funny. Um, Current government rank is Empire, uh, and we are a great republic. I guess it, you can't have one with the other. Well, this this republic uh, had no problem expanding their, uh, you know, imperial ambitions, which is basically to spread the revolution to everyone else. Uh, also, we're quite a, a bit overextended in terms of our force limit. Yes, we are. That doesn't help wonder, when it comes to money. I wonder, could we recruit... Well, we all, you already recruited a military guy. Yeah, with... I think I think I'm going to cut down a bit on Army Royale's cavalry, because it's quite extensive, and I don't okay. think we need that many. What, what about, so um, I will disband at least a, five of them. What about recruiting a um, land maintenance modifier, or possibly the land force limit modifier? That could be fairly decent. But those are, uh, they're think... terribly expensive. I think I will go for the land maintenance modifier. Do that. I think I will cut down a bit on, you know, this army as well. Just remove some divisions there, so at least we don't pay <laughs> anything extra. Divisions, ah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm so used good, to, good. I'm so used to <laughs> Hearts of Iron 4 at this point. Yeah. But now we have 155 land units without penalties. We have so, 150 divisions. Yes, we have 155 divisions indeed uh at least now i mean maybe we could go to sungao with uh... uh but there's there's no point in that because okay, okay, that's okay. just a regular province and there's no fort okay okay okay. so they will flip over to us immediately we could stand in lofringen and try to lure them into a battle uh, at least that would be uh, at least that would be advantageous to us please surround us is what is what we say 
Yeah, and that's, um, so now Hanover army is a bit, you know, isolated. So perhaps Army du Nord should move in from the Nord and take it. Oh, well, good that Great Britain is keeping itself occupied by declaring war on Ojibwe. Yes, that is smart. Actually, what is the UK doing? They're not part of this first coalition, I believe. Uh, well, the UK is probably doing what it always does, you know, in this war. It's like, uh, well... Staying on the island. I, you know, Austria, Prussia and whatever else. I pay you money, you fight <laughs> the war. Whatever else. Uh, we can send a symbolic fleet, if you'd like. Yes, but, you know, don't, ex don't expect anything else. So, move in on Artois. No, wait, this is not Artois, this is Baroui. Oh, fantastic. Is, fantastic. Is going, okay, now it's going bad. Just uh, because you, you jinxed it. Okay, okay. Oh, it. terrible, terrible. Oh, terrible. <laughs> I can't jinx it back now, can I? No, you can't jinx it back. Now you... But I have, you know, into moral, morally, we're doing superb. Yeah, uh, so hopefully you can chase them down and kill them all. Uh, but I'm, you know, at the loss of how we should deal with... Like, look at Austria on the map. It's just freaking huge. Yeah, the thing is, they could probably say the same about us. However, they don't have a shit, or we don't have a shit ton of allies like they do. Yeah, they it's are... interesting with Bavaria that has Fals and Heidelberg. Funnily enough, we uh, have a reasonably friendly relationship with Bavaria. We do, and now they sent armies into. Maybe, maybe we could actually. Uh, hmm, could we work on? Uh... Oh, offer alliance. They would agree. Bavaria, Ooh. should we... Uh, oh, yeah, sure, sure. Call them in. I'm not sure if we can call them in, but... Well, let's see if we can. Uh, seemingly not. Evidently at least, not. At least we have an ally, and that is worth more than gold. We have more flags on our side now than we used to. Yes, and we managed to defeat one army of 13,000 men. So, you know... What about the Swiss? Everyone's All guaranteeing in independence to everyone. Bavaria's guaranteeing independence like five different states. Or, well, the Swiss well, we'll are really, two. really not liking us very much. <sighs> Should we invade them and make them? Sure. I mean, uh, why not? But, uh, the thing is, Genoa, though, it's not like us. is... Oh, they're at war with Luca. Col Cologne is, uh, Luc you know, no, they, they might like us if we put effort into it. Sh should we... Um, I mean, this is sort of... Uh, Commonwealth? This is sort of uh, Hearts of Iron tactics, but should we declare war on Genoa while we're at it? Um, well, which army do you propose to send there? Uh, I've proposed to split army list and uh, send that. But couldn't you just send it whole and then split it when you arrive and take them both as soon as possible? Well, I reckon that uh, we could keep um, army list as a reserve in the north. Yeah, I'm, I'm just worrying about, you know, the, you know, the, the Austrians just coming down on us on a massive army. Yeah, but surely not through we Italy. But, uh, well, would you be, like, they have, you know... Okay, fine. Milan the thing is, it's they're... crazy enough for me to, like, I don't want to be able, or for you to be able to say that I, that you told me so, which I think will... Oh, might so that's what you fear now. Yeah, that's what I fear in my daily routine. Well... That's, also, uh, ugh, we have 17 army traditions, so if we were to recruit a general amongst these, the brilliant men of Louis-Gabriel Souré and Louis-Nicolas Davout, then uh, Davout. we would get, like, uh, I don't know, uh, Henri Thierry, uh, who would be terrible. Vesely. Also, I just took the, I, you know, in lack of a better French name, I just um, took my favorite French football player and took his name backwards. Oh, really? Yeah. It worked. It worked. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But should not, uh, okay, um, I will declare war on on Genoa then. So we okay, fantastic. Do we don't have a general though, so I don't know what to do about that. But I guess it's well. Fine. We don't think we need a general. Yeah, general. And now they show up with hundred thousand men, and we're going to be very very sorry. Of course, of course. Or actually, oh yeah, there. <laughs> you see the army now is standing in Alsace. I see. There's something there. Yeah. Because there's hundred and forty thousand men. That's that's you know that's our hope. But is it enough? No, be enough. Three point seven percent attrition. That's not too bad. All things considered. Yeah, not if we too wait shabby. for until Actually. November eighteen fifteen and assume nothing worse is going to happen. Okay, now they're sending a lot of men to Luxembourg. Oh no. So we will be having a battle there. So <laughs> yes. A scrimmage. Yes, a skirmish of sorts. 
Uh, there's a new more men, you know. <laughs> it's more like how many let's pile on more shit into this. How many title. Austrians are there in the world? It's a philosophical yeah. question. Too many, I think is the answer. And how are they doing so well compared to us? Can't their general just die from I don't know famine? Scurvy? I mean scurvy. Oh, like scurvy that. was yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, the thing is, no, the battle. Well, but we need much big, bigger numbers than than this in order to compete. Yep. This is, this is like if we were equals. You know, I, I mean, on the battlefield and not you know in in the bed chamber. I was going to say, but in uh, the the diplomacy. You're room. way out of your Crazy. league. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, Russia. Oh, Russia. No. As a Thank rival. you, Russia, you son of a bitch. Yeah, we really needed that. I mean, oh, oh. yeah, victory. I uh, Genoa. Yeah, Genoa. <laughs> I, I, I know <laughs> you got ahead of yourself as well. Yeah, I was like, just like, oh, Battle of Luxembourg. Yeah, uh, well, not really. And the worst part is they have like 17,000 men just standing nearby. It's like, oh, we're not even using all our armies. We are numbering you 3 to 1, and we're not even trying. That's basically the message. But you know we're doing some some decent damage. Uh, we will probably have to supplement our troops with something else. Meaning by that, wait, what is uh, this? We don't hmm. have enough men to siege the province. No, we don't. Holy shit! Well, just I was going to say province. that. Uh, oh well, the numbers are looking better now. Uh, they come with a lot more reinforcements. Yeah, I think. I mean, we, retreat, we can't yeah. even we can't even take these losses. We can't replace our men now. We have 2,962, <sighs> and things are just can't, going. Can't we to just get take worse. sailors and tell them that you can be on land too? You know, sailor move. We could dismantle our ships. I don't know. Uh, well, what would that help? I don't know. You said, <laughs> can we take your sailors? Yeah, but we have sailors as a you know, we have sailors as. Um, Wait, do do these require vampire nowadays? Yeah, two hundred yeah. sailors. Yeah. Oh, oh, you I, haven't played oh, E4 since then. I haven't, yeah, I, I didn't know that was a thing. So when ah. you said sailors, I was like, hmm. Well, probably they just take it from the general manpower, but yeah, apparently sailors, 12,000 yeah. of them yeah. as well. Which I think is pretty cool. That I've, is pretty um, cool. That is pretty cool. In in all fairness, that is pretty cool. But I think we're going to do something now and uh, block Antwerp. Uh, this is so terrible, and we're not getting any Bruges sort of apparently. power points either. No. We have no power. Can we just take Genoa and be done with it? Well, we're working on it, but it's going fairly slow. Yeah. Spe especially since they have a port and they can, you know, get some resources from outside. Can we build some buildings that help us? Uh, by which I mean really uh, training fields. Yes, we can. In fact, we should probably look into that. I will do that and try to build in as effective places as possible. Speaking of which, or like uh, that would be like Paris, probably uh, Orléans. Well, that was it. That was all we could build. <laughs> that was all. Yeah. Yeah, but that's quite a lot of manpower still. Oh no, the Prussians are advancing. Well, they were. No, they're, now they are again. Wait, where are they going? They are in. Uh, they're going towards uh, French Comte. Well, I was talking about. Uh, I'm trying to see if we can get a battle against these. Uh, oh, is this... isolated Austrians in Savoy. I don't think they. I think they will escape. The religion in Alsace changes to Protestant. Well, we don't want that, do we? I mean, we're still Catholic, mm -hmm. right? Well, in theory. In theory, yeah. Fine. But really, we are. You know, we don't give a shit about religion. We are open-minded. We are advanced, progressive people. And look how well we're doing. <laughs> Yes, so this is what happens when you're progressive. Yeah, Paris. You, you know, you don't. Who are those brave people over there? Is that Aachen? Yes, might be. Yes, Aachen. Is those on our side? No, they're not. But they like us. <laughs> and that's something. You yeah. know, Commonwealth really likes us. So maybe we should take Commonwealth under our wing. Commonwealth. They will. They Ooh. will no longer accept. You know. Alliance. They did before, but now oh, they don't. Okay. Okay. Uh, we could maybe no. It did run away. <laughs> Just when I was trying to propose, you know, hey, let's attack these guys. What about oh, engaging Britain? Oh shit! I just noticed one thing. Mm -hmm. You know the army you want to do. Oh, let's split our middle east and uh, maybe yes. they will uh, do well. 
Yeah, they're not we, doing so well now, are we they? We didn't need a general there, eh? Uh, well, you wanted to send half the army there, eh? Uh, yeah, okay. The Austrians could we'll, never get there, eh? We'll call it even. Uh, even, even furthermore, Steven. we need to retreat. Furthermore, I, uh, I think that you're right. And I think that I'm a bit afraid of... You know, everyone that's running around. I, you know I what? sent an I, army there to help. And I think this can be an against all odds. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, as, as far as this is going so far, I, I, I would I consider it a possibility. It's a bit of a cheat, though, because uh, we, I mean, maybe we could have done better through some magic, of, you know, but that could be said about all of them, really. The, the I mean, series. we could do better if we're going into the console and gives us unlimited money. Oh, by the way, our money is just ra rapidly running out of yeah, uh, war Yeah, do we have war taxes on? Yeah, we do. Okay, but, okay let's sack our... Um... Oh, no! Oh no, the army there is going to get stuck in Lyon. Or Avignon, I mean. The first star circumnavigation by Spain? Uh, I don't, oh, I don't what about Spain? This. Can we. No. <laughs> no one likes us. No one likes us. And no one will ever like us. Wait, Avignon! Oh, no, wait. no, no, no! That army, not, that, that army got stuck. <sighs> the army that was going to save Avignon it will now be, you know, destroyed at Avignon, I think. How ironic. Or at Davin. Well, so far we are doing decent. It's in mountains, so that should Ooh. help us. I love the mountains. Well, I, like, I love the mountains when they're on our side, which they are not now. Stupid fucking mountains. Okay, now no, they're on our side. I, I like you now, mountains. And they're trying to surround us. Ooh, we gained dukes in lack of the Republican tradition. That's fine. We need money. Yes, we Who do. cares about the Republic when we can have money? Exactly. I mean, I think can most people just wanted a revolution anyway. Just could could get we get money. a victory at Dauphine? He says as 54,000 people are approaching. Yeah, and I think we're going to send Louis Gabriel Suchet. Army Royal. I mean, we do Army like... Royal. In fact, Army Royal should probably try to go to Lyon and save Lyon from its terrible fate. Yes, because we are winning the Battle of Dauphine inexplicably. Yes, and now we can actually have a decent battle against Austrians on our term. Okay, now wait. <laughs> Famous suddenly, last suddenly, words. fifty-four thousand Prussians just appeared but on the horizon. The so army of Dauphine should be done will. soon with their slaughter. Maybe they could come and join the other slaughter. Yeah, and it's going pretty well at the other slaughter. Fantastic! What is going on? What, what is happening? Okay, I'll take the other well, army. And... Yeah, we should probably try to send them now to Lyon. Well, I, yeah, okay, I did forces. try that, but I, I thought I had to go through Languedoc because I did no. I misjudged you, the souls. You, you made a mistake of thinking. I made the mistake of uh, not seeing. Well, that too. Which is a pretty which common is, mistake when making mistakes. Which is almost worse. Wait, suddenly uh, it's going bad. What? It's like, oh, more troops. Uh, we can't win suddenly. Uh, what the hell? They got yes. overconfident. Everyone is, Come on. Yeah. Seriously. There's a ton of losses as well. Oh, the Prussians, they have like uh, Bilov, uh, that general. Uh, Friedrich Wagner von Bilov. But do they have von Blücher? That's the question. That is a bit of a better question. A gift yeah. from Saxony. <laughs> no, seriously, ever since that army appeared, it's just going terrible. What about Bavaria? Could they be... No. Could it be persuaded to join our cause they will against not even, enemies? They will not even try. That's no. the, what I lack or dislike the most. It's a lack of trying. Yeah, but at least we will win the battle of Lyon, and that will be worth more than gold. It's fair share in gold. Come on, Lyon. Fair weight in gold, I guess it is. Mets. Yay, the victory Mets. in Lyon. Hooray. And thereby, the war was. <laughs> that's how the West was won. Well, this could almost be like one of those uh, Pyrrhic quotes. Uh, if we win more, a one more victory like this, we have lost the war. Yeah. And I am done for, I think it's, it is. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I will but, build in Toulouse, because uh, I think that's a safe place. I will build a... Um, build famous a last words. I, you know, I've even... Wait, did you turn back on? Because I, I just, you know, made sure that some fortresses were not, you know, paid for. To save up some money. No, I didn't turn anything on. Well, oh, it probably turned on when we declared war on, on uh, those guys. Ah, so basically, it, basically the western f uh, forts I'll turn off just to save some some money. You know what? I'll intercept this army in uh, Hanover or in Avignon because they are they they were stupid to go there and they shall pay for their lives with it. 
I appreciate stupidness. Oh, it's going stupidness well. as well, not stupidity. No, not stupidity. Stupidness is much better. I are baboon. <laughs> oh, that is a great show, though. Yeah. You cannot say anything. It's a great show. In fact, I will go download it now and uh, not talk for the rest of uh, of this this thing, whatever this thing is. I wonder what? if do do you think? I mean, this sort of went over my head when I was a kid. But do you think that? Weasel in that show is kind of like uh, John F. Kennedy. What? That's my impression of the whole thing, anyway. Why, why would he be John F. Kennedy? Because he has that sort of, you know, he's very charismatic. He's some kind of, I think the weasel is some kind of politician. Superhuman. Well, politician mainly, but. Um, well, aren't all politicians superhumans? Uh, that's, what, that's the message they're trying to convey to us, anyway. Yes. Indoctrination. That's how well, you I do don't it. See it. I don't see any major forces nearby, so I will uh, go for Savoye and uh, knock that army out. At least, you know, speaking force. of bad pronunciations, at least we're having fun pronouncing the French names. H pronouncing Chinese names, that's not even fun. Or, well, it is a bit... What was that? Uh, oh, what was that one we had? Like... Xing'an... Uh, you know... Xing'an uh, Kick? Uh, that was it. You know, I, I like this though. Like you're saying that, oh, at least we're having fun with this instead of pronouncing those other names. And then you start pronouncing those other names. Yeah, but that was the only one. I would one. figure that since you didn't have fun with them, you would just start pronouncing other things. Oh, Misora started to become Western. Oh, that is actually much more important than the fact that... Well, yeah, I mean, Austrians. this is the kind of messages that, you know, French state, you know, what's it called, uh, uh, subscribes to. Are we going plus? Do you, do you want Misora news? It's a weekly magazine. Well, so I guess the, the reason we're getting uh, plus in uh, economic terms is the uh, lack of people to like a lack of soldiers to pay. Since everyone's yeah, in that's debt. true, and also the mothballed forts. Yeah, wow, we have Fort bit. Level Eight over there. Why would we have that in the West France? Are we afraid of some kind of uh, Atlantic well, you invasion? Know, you never know when it comes to the British. In fact, I will. I think I will turn off some of the South as well, just to save a bit more money. Because I don't think the war will go that far. As long as we have like double layers of forts to, to protect. The thing is, Spain is a dark horse though. She might, Spain is a dark horse. She might uh, declare war on us. Wait, why did it send 2,000 men to their death? Allied with Portugal, of course. Such a lame Iberian alliance. Yes. Wait, why are they sending... Oh, I thought so. They kept sending like small contingents of forces to die. I'm not pleased with uh, the amount of uh, fantastic generals that the enemy seems to have. That is problematic, I will admit. But I'm not a fan of the unlimited manpower either. That is uh, troublesome. Yeah, Trouble. it's, troublesome. That's, that's a slight issue as well. Uh, can we call in, like, uh, America? No, they will not be part of this war. Distant <sighs> war, minus 1000. Well, well, Screw that's you, always going to be the case. Why are we even allied with them? They dare to call themselves a Grand Republic. Oh, I love the spelling of Miami in, uh, over in Florida. Sort of a side thing that shouldn't really be noted uh, in, in favor of, you know, My important Eastern oh, Front. My oh, yeah, that, that is pretty cool. Miami. Is pretty cool. Isn't there another Miami somewhere? Isn't it like in... I was going to say Kentucky. Well, there's Illinois. But there's some other Miami somewhere. I can't remember where. Nice will be defended. Oh, yeah, there, there it is. It's right in front of me. There's uh, a nation called Miami. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. And with the correct spelling, funnily enough. Yes, the correct spelling. So that's where Miami came to be. And in 1892, they were expelled and sent down to Miami. And they renamed it. Pretty sure this is true. They made a compromise over the name. Yes. And the uh, Miami Ants were like, okay, you have a pretty decent name. We'll go with your idea. Yeah. I mean, this makes more sense. Okay, so should we summarize? We have about a, a couple of hundred thousand men moving around in the Rhineland. Yeah. Um, I don't think we, we... I mean, we can make some... Apparently we can make states. I don't know what this does. We have barely... We don't even have a hundred thousand. Uh, it will increase our income by... Well, that's pretty good. Because, so we'd need... Like... We'd need... Uh, 
like 15 years to reinforce our armies or yeah, something like that pretty much that is much. a terrible outset i will build another barracks i think just because well i don't think it will help to do a lot really you don't um i don't yeah i don't think so but, but Plus, it, I think we need the money to basically recruit more. Uh, maybe we should dismantle Armée de l'Est and just, you know, absorb it into Armée Royale at the moment to give Armée Royale the extra bit of punch that it needs. Uh, sure, why not? So, bye bye Armée de l'Est. It makes, it makes more sense to have two armies when you have two generals. Uh, that, so is I think that is true. Armée du Nord could basically <laughs> du do Nord. With, du Nord, yeah. Do Nord. Yeah. Uh, we, we'll get some mercenaries for, for that little army. Ah. So all around it, some mercenaries will be... Popping up. You know, yeah, popping up. And those will all go to Armée du Nord. Yeah, sounds good. But, but, yeah, it's... I wonder, like, what's our strategy here in terms of, like, how we... Our we strategy here is... I don't know. Do we have a strategy? Uh, I mean... Do we know what a strategy apparently is? Apparently the strategy right now is... Uh, let the enemy occupy the Rhineland and hope they uh, all fall into a quagmire and die. Yeah, that, I mean, no, that makes sense. That does make sense. I mean, it's better uh, than nothing, but... They don't like us. How could they not like hard. us? Why is it minus 20 hard? Are we playing on hard? Uh, I don't remember playing on hard. I think you commented on it before we started the game. Maybe we are. <laughs> maybe maybe I was just better in the past and thought, well, easy is just too, or normal is just too too normal for me. I will go hard. <laughs> I'm not normal. Just, I'm not normal. I'm hard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Scratch that. <laughs> Scratch that last part. That leads to something completely different. Completely different. Anyway. I probably okay. were about us in the past. They That's are, uh, <laughs> oddly enough, through Lake Geneva, they are launching another invasion. Well, let them Straight come. Straight out of Lake Geneva. Yes. Should we... Uh, you know, I, now I want to go, go visit Lake Geneva. Me too, me too. I've I mean, always wanted to, to visit me, Switzerland. I think maybe we should just go to... Uh, we can go to Lake Constance first, and then just drive through Switzerland in a straight line. And like cross all the mountains, whatever, and then go to Lake Geneva. They are pretty equal in size, it seems. Yes. Based on this EU4 then, then we can demand. Then we can demand. Then we can decide which one is the best. Ah, and, a lake uh, competition. I like yes. it. European lakes. Lake, lake edition. Have you noticed that uh, <laughs> we say that sentence a lot in yes, these Yes, we pictures. do. That and uh, so there aren't <laughs> there aren't that many lakes in Europe mainland Europe. No, that is true. They, they have a distinct lack of lakes. Okay, the the um, there's a solution now to the conflict. Uh, Revolution in France gains a claim on Breisgau. Up in... I don't know how that will so solve anything. Uh, oh, maybe you're right. <laughs> All I know is that the Austrians are marching around with their badass troops. With like a million men. And uh, yeah, things are not too good. For revolution maybe, France. maybe we could incite. Um, what's it called? Uh, oh God! They're marching towards Bourbon. Bourbon. Pacifist movements in Austria. Maybe supporting those would. Well, definitely. Why? Why the hell not? Just pay them money. Uh, so we are attacked in Bourbon by uh, Bourbon. 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 And uh, it's going, uh, you know, uh, not very well. Be better. Not very well. It's definitely going worse. So uh, oh, let's no, see no, no. if we can add some uh, help. I mean, we that. are against the hourglass here, really. Yeah, I don't think this will be a victory. I think. Yeah, I mean, it's, we looked strong at the start, but I think yeah, <laughs> but we, we overestimated. We, that's party. because we didn't see the enemy and how strong they were. This just makes me wonder: How the hell did France actually do this in real life? I th yeah, that's a, that's a very good question. Uh, I don't think... Uh, maybe they didn't. I, maybe it's I, just history of re revisionism. I think that... Uh, no, I think they did, but... Uh, I mean, I know they did, but like... Um, I think the the <laughs> coalition was much, much more defensive. Here they were actually like attacking France, which didn't really happen like that. I mean, well, there, was a, I mean there were attempts, but they were all backlashed. And... Uh, do, do, I don't think we should speak out of this war at all. I don't think we know anything. Well, we, we know, we know the general bits of it. 
Oh, we know one thing. Napoleon. <laughs> and he isn't even in it, so maybe... Like, in, in yeah. this... Well, maybe we should... Maybe sometime we should fast forward. Ma yeah, that. maybe we should or reload maybe, so maybe, we have Napoleon. Maybe. After this, or not after this, like immediately, but we should do March of the Eagles. And by that you mean the game, which a lot of people maybe won't even know about. By that, yeah, <laughs> so. by the Forgotten Paradox game, which is like the bastard child of EU3 and Hearts of Iron. Combining eu three <laughs> sort of units uh, with logistic system from Hearts of Iron. Combining Elizabeth the like, first with Adolf in, Hitler. In that, game, in that game you have, you know, the left flank, the right flank and the center, as well as reserves, each requiring their own leader. And you could have like uh, uh, Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte on like the uh, left flank. You could have Napoleon on like the the center. That sounds and fantastic. And then you have someone else. Yeah, it's you, it's pretty cool. I mean, the it's thing is, cool. I'm pretty easily convinced to to play games. Uh, as you might recall, <laughs> as you might recall, when uh, you got me into playing Victoria 2 back in the day, the thing that tipped me over and resulted in me actually playing the game and being excited about it was you can build railroads i was just oh man yeah i, have I showed to play you the, i showed you the railroads yeah growing costco so it's like okay wait i'm sold yeah i i just love that idea so i'm like i'm all about the details and that that's a little detail that i i love the sound of so you know march of the eagles here we come if yeah though i don't know how the game is played out at all or if you anyone wants play, like, to see it and win well now suddenly our grand cons council died and Oh, um, can we he re be replaced by Mr. Bonaparte? I don't know. Bonaparte? Wait, why did... Oh, maybe we didn't lose him. Maybe I was just re reading into something else. <laughs> I like how you We just lost the Well, we're well, having... Well, I mean, I, look at what great council Xavier de Bonoel had done to our, our country. It's just in ruins. And it's not our fault, it's him uh, fault. It's, I mean, it's not really in ruins, though. It's the outskirts of it are occupied. Well, look at our army. It's just... No, wait. Our okay, army barely wait. Are exists. We going to, are we going to lose our army now? No, it was close. They uh, they had armies nearby. Should we, should we make one of the worst peace deals ever, just for the hell of it? Just sort of like... Why not? We, we could sort of agree to what well, they can, would can want. We, can we lose... We, we might as well just do battles first and then do like a horrible peace deal because we don't have any armies left we're not going to win this it's it's over oh, you're so negative why don't we do i'm not oh i'm not negative i'm not over <laughs> i'm not over why don't we take what all else? our sailors and go for a sail and yes why don't you take all your sailors and then go into the ocean like the horizon and establish and a back. new france in saint pierre in the caribbean and hope that no yes. one will notice where we went or just do uh, what, you know, Napoleon really did. It, you know, he didn't die. In fact, he built a spaceship and went to Mars. So that's why we haven't explored Mars. It's all about the government. Yes, it is a government conspiracy headed by the, the British primarily. They sent him to Mars or helped him escape to Mars because they admired him so much. And that is why Mars is a paradise and we will only see... You know, have ah, you noticed how all all it. the images of, of of the moon or Mars, I mean, is just red wasteland? That's because it's been taken in Arizona. Ah, the Arizona desert. Yes. If you if you go to Arizona and then look at the desert there, and then go to uh, well, go and look at pictures of of Mars, they all look the same. So we. Have you I wonder why that is? The fake moon landing is just a cover up for the fake Mars. Now I get it. Yes. The fake moon landing was just to appease them, so that you know, if we taken, if we hadn't landed in, in on the moon, they would have pr pressured them to land on Mars. And when they've seen the Napoleonic, you know, paradise that was on Mars, they would, you know, flip tables. Uh, the army in Lothringen might be in one of the worst seats I've ever seen <laughs> a EU yes. army be in. So that's why we're marching ahead. March of the Eagles. Me March of the Eagles. This is it, actually, the game, yeah. This is the March of the Eagles. Mets. I mean, we... Okay, like, how are we supposed to win this? Military access from Great we, Britain. I think, I think we've done pretty good. I think we've tried our best, I would say. The Not funny, that our best is worth a lot, but still. The funny thing is, like we said, that France somehow managed to not lose this in real life. So we can only, we yes, we can only bow our heads in... Uh, in uh, admiration 
no admiration uh, okay. for Napoleon Bonaparte and how he was so good at EU4 back in the day. I mean, just yeah. an incredible player. Tipping hat to his greatness, Mr. Napoleon Bonaparte. So we, we're witnessing the end of the revolution, the end of our army. In fact, it can only go to Lovringen. It's surrounded. Le not so grand army. You know, we're going to go out with a bang. Let's go into Baloi. And, <laughs> and they're uh, fleeing. Well, with 2,000. Well, miles. some of them are fleeing. It's like, oh, oh. Well. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, now we, now we will negotiate. Now we will negotiate. We're actually 8% on top of it. I am shocked at this. So we can How? negotiate now, offer tribute. Uh, if they give, uh, if we give them Artois, if we give them you know, all of this shit, will they? No, not even then. How about Metz as well? And uh, Picardy? And Vermandu? And Sungau? Come on, you've gotten all you want, and Reffel. And Paris. Come on, you can't demand Paris and then say, um, you know, it's not too, it's not enough. <laughs> French Comte, why, why don't you want this? Can you just, hang on, can, can we, uh, what about if we just like sort of suggest offer? Uh, yeah, like... Okay, oh, the, uh, oh, they want half of France? Yeah. Okay, and, le Okay. let's let's do it, just to appease them, let's see what yeah, happens. Yeah. This is the end of France as we know it. <laughs> okay. And uh, flip table. Well, you uh, know, this is definitely a reasonable peace deal. Definitely. Yes. But, you know, good thing. But we, but we are still we, oh, revolutionary, at least. We still hold. We still hold Nice. Paris is and a border capital. Austrian France. <laughs> yeah, but we have Nice and Savoy. Yeah, actually, we managed to keep what we, so, what we got. Yeah, we managed to get to okay, two provinces and now, at the cost of all of uh, you know northeastern France. And now we should ally with Britain and. Conquer, yeah, definitely. Conquer uh, Russia. Hey, Britain, you wanna ally? <laughs> no, they hate us. A bit like, oddly enough. Hates us. Um, like, uh, Navarra was released as a sovereign state. Really? Yeah, it's a bit like... Oh, okay, god damn it. Slightly random. Yeah, that was the mo thing that stung the most. I mean, I really like yeah, Navarra. We, lo we lost the Basque country. That's, uh, that's, that's not good. That's not good. So, all. shall we summarize our defeat? Uh, how to summarize this glorious venture into re revolution? I I'm going to say we are incredibly rusty when it comes to EU4. Mechanics and you have even played E4. Yeah, yeah, so but no I mean, what could we, you know, not all the unrust, what's it called? The, not all the polish in the world could have made us not rust. Oh, so you were going for that? Yeah, kind of. All right. Um, I mean, it, it's a very difficult. I mean, sure, we have a you have a huge army sitting out, however, very un uh, what's it called? Uh, not very large, especially in terms of manpower reserves. I mean, it's basically like we lost, uh, or like we, like after probably like five battles, our manpower pool was just drained, and after that, we never really yeah. recovered. Whereas the enemy probably had the, we didn't really check the strength like that, but we, I assume they had probably three times as much at least. At least. Um, yes. So, so it's quite terrible. Yeah. Quite terrible. Yeah. So I think we will just have to do something else in the. Okay, this is definitely against all odds. Yes. Uh, <laughs> welcome to uh, against all odds. Welcome to <laughs> against all odds, where we play impossible odds and most likely fail. What was it? What was it that was that? Was it something like that? Uh, something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, you know. So the we will have to have to return with something else with impossible odds, and uh, you know this was actually going in with great great odds and still mucked it up. March so. of the Eagles, perhaps. March of the Eagles, yeah. It's either March that or I also have another idea. Um, you know, Please do enlighten us. Uh, that we would play as uh, Sweden in the Great Northern War. Great Northern War, that is a fairly decent idea. So that might be a thing. That will be a current... Okay, Great Northern War, good idea. Write it down. And also, it if down. you have any Keep more suggestions, because we're, we, you know, we're really into playing impossible scenarios, even if we lose. I mean, we, we're fine with losing because, hey. Actually, we, we're, fine, we're, fine, we're fine with playing impossible scenarios if we win as well. I mean... Yeah, that could be I, something. I've never, I've never objected with winning. But it's so, such a know. fine balance, though, because it feels like if we happen to win, it was almost too easy for some reason. Well, that's, <laughs> the, is... problem. that's the problem with paradox games in general. Oh, either would you say... I it's too... Would you say it's a paradox? <sighs> oh, I think we've figured yeah. it out. That's why they're called that. Yes. That's their entire business plan. I mean, we're, we're 
the kind of conspiracy theories we come up with on this <laughs> recording is just insane. Yeah, and this alone, according er, recording accordion, yes, yes, accordion. That instrument. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you next time.